One of the most moving moments today came when funeral procession passed Station 25, the firehouse in which Patrick Wolterman served. Local 12's Joe Webb spent the day at Station 25. He starts off our team coverage. A crowd gathered outside Station 25 hours before Patrick Wolterman's funeral procession would pass by. All ages, all kinds, many of them firefighters like Jonathan Keller, who brought his children. To give them the experience, the show the brotherhood, the sisterhood, uh, the support, the family, the following firefighter. Inside, firefighters were still on the job, but getting a hand from other departments. Hamilton firefighter Brian Malone stayed on duty to drive. The support from everybody has been incredible. This just truly exemplifies that we are one big family. The brotherhood is true. Earlier this year, Malone volunteered in Cincinnati so firefighters could go to Daryl Gordon's funeral. Station 25 is being manned by five Cincinnati firefighters today and two from Liberty Township. Coincidentally, the Cincinnati firefighters work on Engine 5 at McMicken and Vine. Today, they're running Hamilton's Engine 5. The Cincinnati guys say they are grateful for the chance to pitch in. They call it an unfortunate honor. Well, yeah, we didn't have to think twice about volunteering to come up here and do this, but it's really the least we can do. Wish we could do more, you know. When the engine carrying Patrick Wolterman's casket paused outside Station 25, there were no departmental divisions, just firefighters, shoulder firm to shoulder saluting a lost brother. Today, put their jobs and their lives in perspective. I kiss every family member before I leave every morning. And whether we had a fight the night before or, you know, one of the kids were bad, they still get that kiss every single morning. It brings the reality to life. The stark reality that life is so often so short. In Hamilton, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. And by the time Walterman's casket passed by Station 25, there were a few hundred people gathered along Erie Boulevard.